Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show and of course you're the number one online TV show and guys we're still here at the State House for the official launch of Talanta Hela and with me guys I'm having one of the best footballers that we have ever had. I'm here to represent Vizuri Sana Pale Qatar and I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to tell you now here at this uh, state function, but we are all good. Ah, we go Kenya for how long? Amanda, we fit. Ah, we keep coming more. Been in Kenya, but uh, I went to up country and come and find some uh, projects uh, from my academy, Mofa. Uh, we are trying to help uh, the young boys, you know, to get their feet through education and sports and talent in general. So basically that is the project that we are doing. And uh, now we are here for the national team, trying to get to get some international friendlies that we are going to participate in Mauritius. Pengine umetupeleka mbio kidogo, uneza tuambia, umesema umekua hapa for a week, umekua pale up country, of course, tumekua tukio na vitu ambazo unazifanya pale kwenye academy. Ni projects gani zimekuleta hapa nyumbani? Is it the ni venyo lika ukafikiria ukuje nyumbani, upumzike kidogo, ama you have projects that you are working on? Asai tumemaliza season, tuko on vacation, so mlichukua time off kidogo kujaribu at least to relax because season ilikuwa long in Qatar. But uh, when I come back home, miu penda ku give back to the society, na penda ni empower the, 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 the young ones when you wanna look up to people like us because now we want to be role model to our to when you are home. They are coming up, you know, because they are the future. So that's what I was doing in the last couple of days. When I was in Homa Bay County and also I went to Transzoia County, Kujaribu ku partner with different schools so that we can expose talent uh, and also give them uh, education, you know, through supporting their education as well. So it's a fantastic way, you know, to give back to the to the society. And for me, it makes me just feel amazing and whole. Uh, Michael Olunga Football Academy. Pengine unaweza tuambia what is that one thing ambayo ili kupush sana kuianzisha? And so far unaweza describe ile journey imekuwa vipi? How do you manage to identify the talents? Naweza sema chini ili nipush kuanzisha Michael Olunga Football Academy ni niliona there's a gap uh, in between hapo wachezaji wetu when they are young kujaribu ku explore the new market which is the international market inakuwa ni very difficult for them to find uh, like a stepping stone so through mofa tunajaribu kuwapatia the basic uh, footballing um, skills that they need tunajaribu kuwa empower through good coaches good uh, infrastructure because uh, for long uh, we've suffered a lot tatujakuwa na good um, youth programs tatujakuwa na good uh, infrastructure down yenye inakuwa trickle down to the grassroots level na hiyo ndio kitu yenye mofa tunajaribu kufanya but apart from that we also keen on education because our two key values and morals ni education to go hand in hand with football or any other co-curricular activities so not only tunajaribu kuwa empower in terms of football but tunajaribu also kuwa sensitize that uh, uh, if you do both, then you can uh, go even much more further because then you have a balancing and options in life that just in case football doesn't work out for you, then maybe you need to stick to education. And if uh, education doesn't uh, go well with you, then you can end up in any co-curricular activity. Do you have a plan of expanding an academy? Because right now I feel like uh, pengine uh, kuna watu amba wana kusupport sana, wako different count, uh, counties, kuna Nairobi hapa, tukona other counties, but saizi hatu japata watu towa hapa ama watu amba wana pena football. Hawa japata that opportunity. Do you have a plan of expanding it? Of course, unajua charity begins at home. So tulianza first in my home area, in my rural village in Othoro, Homa Bay County. And so far, we have four schools, St. Mary's Yala in Siaya County, we have Gorosari in Homa Bay County, we have Kisumu Day in Kisumu County, and now St. Joseph's in Transnzoia County. So you see, it's expanding slowly by slowly. We started with two, now we are at four. But our aim is to try to reach each and every part of Kenya. Of course, that will require a lot of um, uh, financing, that will require a lot of support, not only from uh, our friends, but also Kenyans at large. 
but uh, chenye na furahia ni the reception imekuwa so positive we've received a lot of calls from principals from different schools that they want to partner with Mofa and uh, that makes me so proud that a lot of institution that hold high moral in the society want to partner with uh, Mofa Saizi unafanya peke yako or you have patrons Asai, you know, at the beginning we started uh, individually, but now we're expanding because now with the help also of, of these schools, so Anajaribu Kutu support, but now we're approaching also corporates who are also willing to help. They are coming in handy. But uh, in future, we want to ask any other Kenyan out there, Monyako, willing to support this a noble initiative, and as a, to join, and as a, to contact through MOFA, um, and as a, to contact through MOFA, and as a, skia, the kind of partnership that they are willing to offer and see how we can work out because I believe the cake is so big that uh, everyone needs uh, can get a space. So tunataka to be very accommodative uh, to each and every person when you are willing to support this initiative. You mentioned Ukasema, of course, Ukwapa Nyumbani because it's vacation and also you, uh, it's towards the end uh, of the season and we saw Uli Peleka Pale Nyumbani, Pale Katar, Uliweza Kupeleka, the trophy of the season. Maybe you can tell us how does it feel each and every time you get, a, uh, you get uh, to do so well and get the trophy home? Ah, it was so fantastic feeling, you know, first of all to win uh, three different trophies in Qatar this season and also three top scorers. Tunashukuru sana, we say thank you to God. Also, my hard work imekuwa very nice this season. Imekuwa ni a very long season and a challenging one because there was World Cup in between. But uh, it was good because now the competition was quite stiff. Now, I'm so proud that I emerged top in all the categories. And uh, it gives me a bigger motivation to continue achieving more greater and greater success. And also to see that Kenyans really appreciate what I'm doing and the support that they have gave me throughout the season. It's so amazing that I still want to continue making them proud, not only locally, but also at international level. We understand that uh, your contract uh, is coming to an end this June, actually. Maybe you can tell us uh, what, uh, what's, what do we expect? What is the way forward? Because now we don't know to taradie kukuona wapi, pengine pale English Premier League, ama itakuwa. Of course, uh, now we are off season, but uh, we want to. I want to take my time. I want to first of all uh, just don't engage in any football activity because uh, we've had a long season. But uh, yeah, it's true. There are a lot of rumors, a lot of clubs approaching here and there. But at the end of the day, I just want to see if I can handle what is within my jurisdiction, which is playing football. Um, what uh, the management or what my agents will try to do will be out of uh, my reach. But uh, I believe uh, wherever I'll be next season, I will always be willing to represent Kenyans at large and uh, to give uh, my level performances because I know a lot of people de depend on my good performances for others also to rise in this kind of international leagues. So you confirm uh, it's true the contract is coming to an end? Yeah, it's coming to an end, uh, but uh, it doesn't mean as well that still I'm leaving Aldo Hale, you know, because... Uh, uh, chance the, you can, is there a chance you might uh, way be renewed? Well, everything is possible in football, you know, because it's just a matter of, uh, uh, it's just a matter of negotiations. But uh, right now I'm still an Aldo Hale player, you know, so I can't uh, confirm anything yet. But uh, I can just say there have been interest from different clubs across the globe. And uh, let's see, we'll analyze the options, what, what's on the table, and uh, we'll come to a conclusion in the coming few weeks. Kinikinge kwenye Google, watu wana hint sana ati kuna wezekano to Kuone in the future, EPL, Ebu Tuambi, we will come a player. What is your dream? Of course, dream of every player ni kucheza in the most coveted leagues in the world, being EPL, being Spanish La Liga, uh, Bundesliga. So I wouldn't be any different. Uh, of course, opportunity to play in England, it can come through. Uh, tutai chukua, tutai appreciate, tuta, tuta nayo. Uh, but at the same time, you penda ku insist that um, ile place yenye uko, jaribu TABD first of all, before even thinking of um, the next steps in your career. Because me believe, kizuri chaji uza. Na with the hard work that I'm doing, it's so commending to see a lot of potential suitors when you want to jaribu ku get my signature. <laughs> na, na believe uh, in the coming few days, shakwana a good answer. Mm -hmm. yeah.
we can't wait we wish you all the very best but pia siwezi taka kukuachilia kama hujatuambia imekuwa ni launch ya talanta hela maybe you can tell us uh, as a player uh, pia wewe ni one of the people that has talent it's all about talents that is why it's called talanta hela what are you, what are your expectations when it comes to this initiative uh, first of all tunashukuru his excellency uh, the president of the republic of kenya william samoi ruto uh, through the cabinet uh, the cabinet secretary of the youth affairs sports and uh, arts who initiate this talanta hela uh, initiative uh, it's a good platform not only for football players but for all the talented people in kenya because we are we have been in a situation where we have so much talent in this country but people don't get to get the rewards for their effort so it's something which uh, is coming in the right time and uh, we're just hoping that it's going to be a beginning for all the talented young fellas in this country are going to earn what they really deserve because kuna a lot of people when you are in different sectors of talent kuna content creators kuna uh, sportsmen at least kuna kuna actors na hawa watu wote wana wanaleta pride kwa country unajua so they also need to be appreciated for their effort because to say the truth talent is not an easy career it's something it's a passion you do it and especially when you're going to represent the country unafanya you work so hard behind the scenes of which ukikuwa at the end of the day how we rewarded for your efforts then what wengi wanakata tamaa but we want to create a space where even in school when our vijana wadogo wana come up wanajua like talent can pay and talent pays in this country so we just don't want to do it tumetoka kwa ile era yenye tulikuwa tunacheza mpira because it's a hobby now it's a profession it's a career content creating is not a hobby it's a profession it's a career people are doing this for a living people who are doing youtube they are doing it for a living people who are creating content out there people who are acting people who are playing people who are running they are doing this for a living so this is a profession and they need to take it seriously but we thank them <coughs> through this initiative tuna hope wataendelea ku appreciate wasani wote in different aspects of uh, the art industry and the sports industry and uh, going forward we hope that uh, the rewards will be much more better I would like you to talk to uh, Kenyans who support you so much. No, pale kwenye comment section. They are always supporting you, whether you are home or away. Na pia young talent out there. Wale watu ambao wanafilwa kona talent. Uh, maybe you can tell them something. Angi upenda kutanku mafansu wangu wote onyo mini support. Throughout the season, this season, imekuwa nifiti. Rewards is imekuwa poa. Hard work imekuwa fiti. Na washukuru sana. Uh, fans wangu generally wote across the globe across Kenya na washukuru sana kwa support mmeendelea kunipatia mi na waomba tu <coughs> naomba tu muendelee kunisupport naomba tu muendelee kunipatia hiyo love because uh, what i'm doing outside here is not easy but through your support it and keep going each and every day so may god bless you na hata wale upcoming football players who want to one day be like me or even achieve things that i've achieved or even beyond what I've achieved. Ngependa tu kuendelea msikate tamaa. Keep on working hard, keep with the consistency, keep on believing because uh, the future belongs to you who keep on working hard, waking up each and every day, doing your thing, doing your craft. It's not so easy, but continue being aggressive, the rewards are coming. And uh, also continue supporting us if you are watching this show Mungai Eve, the best online show TV. Make sure you keep on subscribing up and your news moto moto. So guys, it has been the Mungai Eve Show. In case you're watching this video, make sure you like this video, you share, you hit the subscribe button. We'll meet you in the next one.